so this in this activity copper sulfate crystals on heating of uh, copper sulfate crystals what is the color of copper sulfate crystals blue color so on heating blue color copper sulfate crystals changes to white color blue color copper sulfate changes to white color that means the water molecules are the water molecule by on heating of copper sulfate the water molecules are evaporated from the copper sulfate so blue color also changes to white color and uh, after that uh, after after this activity after uh, 5 or 10 minutes uh, the white to, to this white co white colored copper sulfate crystals we will add two or two or three drops of water two or three drops of water to this white color copper sulfate crystals again the blue color reappears blue color reappears yes so this is activity for removing removing water of crystallization so after this activity next topic ph scale ph scale so ph scale what is the definition of this ph scale means a scale for measuring a scale for measuring hydrogen ion concentration in a solution a scale for measuring hydrogen ion concentration in a solution and uh, this ph scale was introduced by scientist sorensen it was introduced by sorensen and in ph scale total 14 values are present 0 to 14 values and uh, 0 to less than 7 the range this is the acid range 0 to less than 7 means it is acid range exactly 7 it is neutral and more than 7 to 14 it is the basic range and here 0 to 3 0 to 3 is the strong acid is the range of strong acid and greater than 3 to less than 7 it is is the range of weak acid and exactly 7 means neutral greater than 7 to 11 it is it is a range of weak base greater than 11 to 14 it is a range of strong base what are the examples of strong acid hcl or h2so4 hcl or h2so4 strong acid and weak acid CH3 COOH acetic acid or H2CO3 carbonic acid carbonic acid and neutral neutral substance means salt common salt NaCl or water these are neutral substances and weak base weak base means NH4OH and MgOH twice these are weak bases NH4OH means ammonium hydroxide MgOH twice means magnesium hydroxide and next strong base strong base means it is NaOH NaOH and KOH so NaOH means sodium hydroxide KOH means potassium hydroxide these are the examples for strong base so <coughs> from this scale they will ask some questions uh, uh, questions about the ph ranges for example solution solution a if solution a ph the ph of solution a is 10 ph of solution b is 5 then what is the nature of uh, solution a so this the ph of solution a is 10 This is the range. 10 is the range. Is in 11 more greater than greater than 7 to 11. So it is the range in a uh, range of uh, weak base. So it is weak base, and that means uh, basic basicness solution. The nature of solution A is uh, basic nature. The nature of solution A is basic nature, and uh, the pH pH of solution B is 5. That means 5 means uh, weak acid. so we can say uh, that means the nature of solution b is uh, acidic nature so in this way they will ask some questions about this ph scale
so after this ph scale the importance of ph scale so living organisms living organisms can survive in a narrow range of ph change living organisms can survive in a narrow range of ph change that means nearly 5.6 nearly 5.6 so if the range is less than 5.6 means the survival should be difficult so that is the main point and next the tooth decay tooth decay starts when the ph of mouth is lower than ph of mouth is lower than 5.5 lower than 5.5 then how can you prevent this tooth decay means the best way to prevent tooth decay is is to clean the mouth after eating food clean the mouth after eating food and next next point so use of mild bases use of mild base that means mild base are used in antacid tablets antacid tablets during indigestion during indigestion stomach produces too much acid and this causes pain and irritation to get rid of this pain so people use antacids antacids means weak bases mild bases generally what the what type of antacids are used means milk of magnesia milk of magnesia they are used so milk of magnesia what is the chemical name of milk of magnesia chemical name means magnesium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide and chemical formula is mgoh twice it is used as a mild base we use as a antacid because it is mild base that means weak base so this is about the uh, importance of ph scale so after this ph scale let's let's move on to next topic universal indicator universal indicator or ph paper universal indicator or ph paper so universal indicator is the mixture of several indicators universal indicator is the universal indicator is the mixture of several indicators so it gives the different colors at the different concentrations of hydrogen ion in a solution it gives the different colors at different concentrations of hydrogen ion in a solutions so it is also used to it can be used to know the strength of acid or base that means strong acid or weak acid strong base or weak base this ph paper is also used to know the strength of acid or base that means if the ph paper if the ph paper is color is red when it is placed in one solution when it is placed in one solution its color is red means so the ph range is 0 to 3 0 to 3 0 to 3 means it is strong acid range the range of strong acid so next if it is orange color the ph paper color is orange when it is placed in one solution so its ph range is nearly 4 that means it is the range of weak acid it is the range of weak acid and next green color green color is formed on the ph paper when it is placed in one more solution so its green color is formed means the ph range is 7 that means it is neutral range neutral compound and next if the ph paper color is blue then its ph range is nearly 8 to 10 so it is it is a range of weak base next violet the ph paper color is violet when it is placed in a solution one solution so its range nearly 11 to 14 11 to 
14 that is strong base the range of uh, strong base so by observing the colors uh, so uh, we must identify the ph ranges also ph ranges also so this is the difference between uh, uh, this uh, universal indicator paper or ph paper and normal litmus paper so normal litmus paper gives the nature gives the nature of substances only but not ph range but this ph paper or universal indicator gives the ph ranges also and also the strength of acid and base strength of acid and base so this is about today's class in next week i will explain the uh, basic points basic points in uh, in this uh, in this chapter or uh, next uh, next chapter also i will explain some basic points <coughs>